Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today, we visit a bed build hosted by the local chapter of Sleep in Heavenly Peace. But first, it's soup for you. Fresh broccoli and my luscious tomato. Today, I have two wonderful recipes for you, and they are quick and easy. It is two soups, and they're both meatless. I'm going to make my luscious tomato soup and my fresh broccoli soup. Minimal ingredients, under an hour for each, and they are both so delicious. So why go with a canned or a packaged soup when you can go to the grocery store, all of these ingredients are readily available, and they are so delicious and packed with flavor. And the best part is, easy to make. Tomato soup is one of my favorites, and it's such a wonderful comfort food. And with a grilled cheese sandwich, you are good to go. So let's get started. We're gonna start with my luscious tomato soup. For this recipe, you'll need two tablespoons of unsalted butter and two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two medium onions chopped, six cloves of garlic smashed, one jalapeno pepper, de-seeded and chopped, one teaspoon of white pepper, one 28 ounce can of whole San Marzano tomatoes in juice, two cups of chicken stock or vegetable stock, and fresh basil leaves for cooking and garnish. All right, so in my soup pot, I have melted the butter with the olive oil over medium heat. So now I'm going to add my onions and my garlic and the jalapeno, because I like a little heat. Now, if you don't like the heat, please do not add the jalapeno. And this is a good time to add the teaspoon of salt. And what I'm gonna do is just mix this together and let this soften for about five minutes. So now I'm going to add my tomatoes in juice. Make sure you get the San Marzanos. There is a difference. Three or four dollars a can and you can taste the difference. Make sure you get them. I'm gonna add about four basil leaves and two cups. I'm gonna use chicken stock, but if you wanna keep it vegetarian, you can use vegetable stock. And I like stock better than broth because you can get it uh, lower in sodium. And I just think it adds a richer flavor to the soup. Now what I'm gonna do is bring this to high and I'm gonna bring this to a boil. And then once I do, I will cover it with a lid and let it simmer for about 20 minutes because I wanna cook the tomatoes and have them break up and soften a little bit. So, let's see, oh my, it's still bubbling. This is beautiful, look at that, it's broken up nicely. Oh yeah, perfect. The tomatoes are broken down. Now we are going to really make this smooth and luscious, thus the name, luscious tomato soup. And a lot of people put this in the blender, and I must say, if you do not own an immersion blender, I just don't understand it. You can get them now for like $19, and this is the handiest appliance and probably one of the most used appliances in my kitchen. I use it for soups, I use it for whipped cream. I use it for so many things. And I don't know what I'd do without it. Easy to clean, easy to store, 
and I use it all the time, especially with soups. It's great for pasta sauces too, any kind of sauce. So all I'll do, I don't even have to dirty another bowl or plate, I love it. Okay, so just put it in, just be careful not to splash yourself, and we'll mix this in. The basil leaf that I have in there, it'll just blend right down, it'll break down. So will the onion, the garlic, and of course the San Marzano tomatoes because we've softened them. It's only been 20 minutes. And you'll see by the color of the soup that it turns a lighter color when the air is brought into it. And I've been using a lot of white pepper lately. And white pepper really has a nice earthiness to it. And you don't want to add it while it's cooking because it will cook the flavor out. But when you're all done, I'm gonna add one teaspoon it adds a real nice earthiness to vegetables and vegetable-based dishes. So we'll stir that in, and then I'm gonna check the seasonings on this, and um, I will adjust the salt and pepper flavoring before we serve it. Oops, just made a little bit of a mess there. And um, I might be adding a little more salt and pepper. Wow, I did a really good job with this. I'm just gonna add a little black pepper. It really doesn't need any more salt. Isn't that amazing? Can you believe how easy that was? Now how easy was that? Isn't that ridiculous? Mm, I can't wait to taste it. Amazing. I garnished it with just some um, fresh toasted crusty bread and some um, chiffonade of uh, basil leaves. This is just a wonderful comfort food and it's so easy to make. Go to my website, caseymalonejo.com for my luscious tomato soup. And we'll be right back. And we're gonna make my fresh broccoli soup, which is just as easy. Mm, enjoy. Looking for local craft beers? They're right here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. How many beers do you have available, Rude the Dude? Casey, we got 41 craft beers on tap, local breweries, Ohio breweries. We have about 40 to 50 different cans and bottles in our coolers with the same local Ohio breweries. And Youngstown Beer Week, first time ever, kicks off right here yes. at the Magic Tree. April 22nd, Monday, is the uh, start of Youngstown Beer Week. We have our launch party here with our Brewers Roast. That's going to lead into the whole week, right into the Big Tap and Six Craft Beer Festival at the Metroplex. Uh, there's over 80 breweries. Uh, eight local food vendors, live entertainment. It's gonna be a great event for craft beer in the area. And it benefits making kids count. Your search is over. The largest beer selection is right here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years. And my message has never changed. If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative. Dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Wilm is your full-service, independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilm, close by with three locations to serve you.
Your home, your way. The choices are endless at Stonebridge Neighborhoods. Choose the lot and floor plan at Stonebridge or Westbury Park. Spacious single-family homes built to your specifications. Or enjoy a villa at Saybrook Point with extensive options for maintenance-free living. See for yourself. Stonebridge Neighborhoods will be your next move. Grand opening March 30th and 31st. For more information, contact Howard Hanna today. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. And another one of my favorite soups is the fresh broccoli soup that I'm about to make right now. Even if you don't like broccoli, I think you're gonna really like this soup. And again, it's nice and creamy without any cream. It's got fresh broccoli, celery, onion, garlic, thyme, parsley, and it comes together in under an hour. So let's get started and we'll go over the ingredient list. For this recipe, you'll need two tablespoons of unsalted butter, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one medium onion chopped, one stalk of celery chopped, four cloves of garlic smashed, one tablespoon of chopped fresh parsley, one tablespoon of chopped fresh thyme, one teaspoon of white pepper, two heads of chopped broccoli, stems and florets, four cups of vegetable stock or chicken stock, one teaspoon of salt, fresh ground pepper, and shredded Parmesan or cheddar cheese for garnish. Over medium heat, we've melted the butter and the extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna add the celery and the onion. And we're just gonna soften this for about five minutes before adding the rest of the ingredients. So this is softened. So now I'm gonna add the thyme, the parsley, and the garlic. Almost forgot that one. And all I'm gonna do is stir that to combine. And then I'm going to add all of the broccoli. And the vegetable stock. And I'm gonna turn the heat up to high, bring it to a boil, and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Well, I let this boil and then simmer for about 15 minutes. And the florets, the stalk of the broccoli, they have really softened nicely, they're fork tender. So they are ready to be pureed. And once again, I'm gonna use my favorite kitchen utensil, the immersion blender. And you'll see it becomes really creamy and you really don't need to add the half and half or the heavy cream. But if you want to, you can do it after you blend this together and get it nice and smooth. All right, so now it has been all smoothed out. And now's the time to add your cream element if you choose to. I am not going to. Uh, it's a good time to also add the white pepper, which I've become a very big fan of. You don't want to cook that out. Adds warmth, not really heat, but it just adds a very earthy flavor to it that I really like, and it really stands out with the broccoli. And I'm gonna give it a little taste to see if we need any more salt and pepper. And let's see how that goes. Mm. Just a little more salt and pepper, because I really haven't seasoned this. And remember, you don't want to over salt because you can always pass that at the table. That goes back to my grandma, Stella. She was not a big salter. She was a big fan of letting people salt it at the table. Mm -hmm. 
So there you have it. How easy was that? Really, in under a half hour, a great bowl of soup with the fresh broccoli. And I can't decide which I like better. The uh, grated Romano or the uh, shredded cheddar. So I added both as a garnish. And it really, mm, it is just a delicious soup. I'm telling you, I'm exhausted. I made two great soups and you are going to love both of them. And they're great meatless alternatives, great for a weeknight, and just when you want something light and easy. Go to my website, caseymaloneshow.com for the luscious tomato soup and the fresh broccoli soup. You are going to love them both. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. At the Vein Center and Med Spa, we realize the serious health issue varicose veins can cause. We know it's more than just cosmetic. That's why we provide you with caring and personal service in a clean and friendly atmosphere. All vein procedures are done in our office during convenient and flexible hours by a medical doctor with over 20 years experience. The Vein Center and Med Spa also offers fillers and neurotoxin procedures, hydrofacials, and laser hair removal services. And now we're proud to welcome Dr. Kiesel to our practice. Call the Vein Center and Med Spa for a free consultation and see why our patients leave satisfied. It's back April 27th, the Big Tap in Real Craft Beer Festival at the Metroplex. Sample craft beers and ciders from over 80 breweries, local food, art, and entertainment. Proceeds benefit Project MKC. Tickets on sale now at BigTapIn.com. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. There's a new standard in assisted living. One that combines comfort, luxury, convenience, and the highest quality expert care. Your loved ones can experience it now in Canfield's premier senior living location. The Inn at Ironwood offers fine dining and amenities such as a concierge, salon, housekeeping, and laundry services. And a truly elegant setting in Canfield. Call us for more information or visit us and take a tour. The Inn at Ironwood, Canfield's premier senior living location. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Selling engagement rings never gets old. It's love. It's a huge untaping because they're going to wear that ring probably forever, but if they're not going to wear it forever, they're going to pass it down to somebody. Our rings will hold a lifetime, and we want to make sure it does. We stand by every single thing that we sell. I believe I can find the perfect ring. I really try to get them exactly what she would want. And to just be a little part of that is really, it warms your heart inside. Get real, get Kamara. Well, this interview has taken a while. You're right, it has. Mickey and I have been talking for a while to try to get this set up. Mickey Carter is the chapter president for Sleep in Heavenly Peace. And what they do is build bunk beds for children in need. And this is a humming operation when they actually have the production day. And Mickey, when you told me about this group, mm -hmm. how did you find out about it? Because you really don't think about children not having beds. No, and, and the, the, 
The interesting thing about it is, is that the economic hardship in this area has, all, has been bad for quite some time. And being in the job that I am, being a bus driver for Austin Town and that, I see kids all the time and, and I get to see some of those hardships for the children in that. Um, how I got involved in this is actually quite interesting. I was up watching Facebook videos into okay. the wee areas down really? into the morning. You need a hobby. Exactly. <laughs> uh, well, I have one now, which is great. But um, you know, I just uh, you know it's four o'clock in the morning, and I'm, you know it's time to put it down in that. And God told me watch one more video, and it was the returning the favor episode from Mike Rowe on Sleep in Heavenly Peace. And eight months ago, I decided to take that journey and drive to Twin Falls, Idaho to become a chapter president and bring this back to Youngstown. And that is where this group originated, out of Idaho? Yes, it is. Kimberly, Idaho is for, uh, established in 2012. And how do you find the people that need the beds? They uh, actually go onto our website, shpbeds.org, and fill out an application. Uh, they just to go on and request a bed. Once they've done that and filled out the application, it comes right back to our chapter and we've had the applications. Do you work with other groups? Because I see there's kids from the academy here today. And um, I know the SOS group is very involved in the community. Amy, classmate of mine, is uh, heads up the SOS over at Ursuline. And do you reach out to other service groups to help you with these builds? Yes, absolutely. We've, uh, we've reached out to just about every one of the job and family services uh, uh, organizations in this area. Um, we've had requests and um, that from as far out as Mercer and Sharon in our, in our coverage area. Um, the uh, Sojourner House uh, contacted me this week and we'll also be working with them. Uh, which is uh, it's awesome. It's a blessing. We've had the uh, we've got people here from uh, Lutheran Redeemer Church, from Ursuline, from YSU, from Fitch High School. So we have a lot of different people represented here, family and friend uh, friends. And so. how does the where is your funding arm? That is what we really need to get out there, right? Yes, really you need is. money to build these beds. We do. We um, we we're open for uh, corporate sponsors. Uh, we will bring everything out to be, be able to build with corporations that would like to sponsor beds. And uh, all they have to do is reach out to us, you know, and we'll uh, set everything up and get everything done from there. We've had some very generous donations from local churches and um, uh, numerous private donors, which is amazing. What is the cost of a bunk bed? Because they're all bunks. Do you yeah. do, do you do single beds? We can easily separate them for single beds, which is which is amazing. It costs us three hundred and fifty dollars to make a bunk bed, and that includes the mattress. That includes everything, all the way down to the pillows and sheets. Oh, so three fifty a bed. Yeah. All your labor is volunteer. Yes, we are all volunteers. No, you know, no one. Uh, gets paid in this organization and, and we all do it because we love it. I mean, the, the members that I have around me that, that you know, God's been able to put me in contact with and everybody that's coming through the path of this organization has just done amazing things. Jaden is the PR director for Sleep in Heavenly Peace and the steps to make the bed. You've been here already prepping everything. That's correct. We've been here since last night uh, prepping. We've cut all the wood last night and this morning we've been drilling the wood, uh, drilling holes into the wood and um, building the headboards, building the side rails on the beds, building all the safety features in the bed. And it starts, basically the bed starts from a pile of wood and it turns into a finished product that a child, a child can um, sleep on. Now I see the uh, cauldron over here and the stain isn't what you usually think of as like a polyurethane. What, what are you using, a more natural product? Uh, that stain is actually a mixture of distilled white vinegar and steel wool pads. Uh, those ladies over there are staining all of the headboards, all of the side rails, and everything in the bed. To uh, It acts as a little bit of a bug repellent and just a little nicer feature on the bed. It, it makes the bed really a high quality product. So the vinegar must get its color, at, it eats away at the steel wool, is that where it gets that, uh, you know, tannish color? That's correct. The uh, vinegar Obviously, it's a clear color, but it yeah. turns into a red, almost a rust color uh, when the steel when it eats at the steel wool. Well, Mrs. Latko and Mrs. Morrison um, are Ursuline teachers, but Amy and I graduated together, Sacred Seeds and Ursuline. And the SOS group is out here on a build. Right. 
And I see you are really good with um, power tools. Yes, I think maybe I'm learning <laughs> as I go. Now, how did you guys find out about this organization to, to get involved? Um, Mickey called Ursuline and asked for the volunteer group, and we called him back, and so we have about 25 volunteers here today. And, uh, you know, this is, do you find families at need, and do you help Mickey find some of these families that could benefit from the beds? We're probably right outside our door sometimes. They're right there. We just have to be more aware and help them as we can. This is the cauldron where all of the beds get stained. Uh, how do you know that you're, when it's done? Um, we just keep flipping it until it looks evenly coated on each side and then she goes it over there to dry. <laughs> Would you come back and do this again? I mean, yeah. do, isn't this really a worthy cause? Yeah, it is. It's really fun too. Like learning how to do everything. Yeah, I mean, you guys work with power tools much? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> if people wanted to donate or volunteer their time, how would they contact you and get in touch with this organization? They can contact me at uh, mickey.carter at shpbeds.org. They can call, three, th uh, I'm sorry, 234-567-3558. Uh, they can also go through our main website, shpbeds.org. Uh, volunteers can also get in contact with our coordinator, Emily Leonard, um, just emily.leonard at shpbeds.org. And, uh, you know, vol um, uh, donors can also get in contact with us in, in those ways. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.